Hey guys and girls, I'm back and today I'm doing a bit of a different video. I thought what I could do is I like electric vehicles. I think like electric scooters and electric bicycles are amazing. So I bought myself a cheap, like semi-broken E300 Razor scooter. If you don't know what that is, I'll point the camera at right now. It's one of these. I got this uh, really cheap. I put, um, it was second hand. I got it um, and the plan is I'm going to modify it a little bit and we're going to make it go a little bit quicker. Um, the stock motor that comes with it, I've already burnt that out, completely fried that motor. So it does work, but it will only work for like five minutes and it will heat up and just stop working. That's great. The reason how I, I, I destroyed that motor is uh, the onboard controller, electric controller, which is the brain that goes, you have this much power now, let's go. Um, I've done a shunt mod. What a shunt mod is, you get this, you've got a thin bit of wire on it that controls how much current goes to the motor. I gave it a big chunk of wire so it allowed more current into the motor. Uh, yeah, it, it killed the, uh, the uh, you know, the DC motors. So that's great. Uh, these are the parts that I'm putting in it. We've got ourselves a new DC motor. This is, let's have a look. As you see, it's a 350 watt, 24 volts, um, 3000 RPM DC motor. Um, I was thinking about going higher than 24 volts, like say 36 volts, maybe 42 volts. But I thought, let's keep things simple because you can have a fast vehicle on just 24 volts. It is possible. You don't need, the more voltage doesn't necessarily mean more power, but it does. But you know what I mean, you can get away with going quick for 24 volts. Uh, this is the new speed controller that I've got, which is from this brand here. I'll leave links down below of where I bought all this stuff. This stuff I bought from eBay. This controller came all the way from America, along with the new throttle controller. Uh, so I went for like a red sort of handlebar, because I do eventually plan on sa uh, sanding this back and repainting the whole scooter, so go from grey to whatever sort of colour scheme I want. We're going to jazz it up a little bit. Um, as you can see, the new throttle has a key ignition, so it's click on off. This is a voltage meter, so it tells how much voltage is left in the batteries. Uh, so again, it turns. This has literally so much travel in it, which is nice. Opposed to, let me show you this piece of crap that comes with the uh, the razor. It's just like, see it doesn't turn much because it's just the switch. It's just on, off, on, off. There's no in between. Whereas this is variable. This is a variable resistor pretty much. So. That's the plan for this video. Uh, the only other modification that I've done other than the shunt mod on the stock controller and fried the controller is this. I replaced the uh, deck grip tape with my own skateboard grip tape. I literally just stuck it down and cut it to size. But that's pretty much how it stands. Um, the plan is if I have a key ignition on the barrel, then I'll, I can do without this. See, this is like the switch, so I'll be able to bypass this and not actually use this switch. Um, I do plan on keeping this. This is like a uh, circuit breaker, so you, it kind of blows this before it blows the uh, controller. Uh, I plan on like keeping majority of the stock stuff and using it. But anyway, without further ado, because I keep yabbering, we're going to get straight on and we're going to build this project. Okay, this is going to be a little project. This first video will be me building it all. And I plan on doing a video again, maybe in the future, of me taking it all apart, sanding it all back and painting it. I'm not sure what color scheme I want to go for, but I, I was thinking maybe just like a nice pearlescent white or something. I'll literally paint everything, even the um, battery box and the controller box. I'll paint all of this so it will all look very nice. And I plan on painting the alloy wheels. But it's uh, <laughs> the idea of this is I'm not planning on going fast. It's just I'm probably not even going to use it really. I'm just making it because it's, it's fun. It's something that me and you can do together, you know, as a team. Anyway, I'm going to quit my jibber jabber and we'll get straight on into opening this thing up.
Okay, we're all back together now. Everything's back in its place. Um, the best way I've found to mount this um, controller is like this. I'm, I'm not really happy with how I've mounted it, but it's because you've got these two huge ass um, lead acid batteries. Like I said, in the future, I might just replace these with um, lithium, which will probably be about this size. So at least it will have all this room to breathe and move about. Uh, also, I'm again, not really happy with this, how these screw on because this has some weird knuckle, in, like knuckle bolt things at the bottom, but I've tightened it up as best I could. And as you can see, it's not moving. I know I've got one more screw to do, but I ain't worried about that. Uh, the wire for the motor is kind of semi-exposed, so I'm gonna have to maybe tape that up or something just to stop it. I've had to snip the wire and extend the cable just so I could reach over here, because it was stopping about here. But other than that, it's all pretty much ready to go. The next video you'll see is me put uh, with it all complete together, turned it on, accelerating, uh, seeing how it pulls. I'm actually quite happy with how well this has gone together so far. Thumbs up. As you can see, I've um, put it back together. I left the chain guard off because I just like the look of an exposed chain. Uh, I might change the rear sprocket to, I can't remember how many teeth this is. I think it's like 54 teeth or something. I'm gonna change it so give it a bigger teeth so that way it's got more uh, oomph when pulling away and then this is pretty much it this is the wiring coming out of the coming out of the box going into this loop here fastened all up 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 and here you can see I've the throttle cable was kind of longer than I thought so I've had to kind of double loop it sorry about the bad camera angle so I've had to kind of double loop it here and fasten it together here there you go look, look at this bam all working so it says 24 volts. Uh, I believe this controller could probably go up to, I think it's 48 volts or whatever. So if I plan on future overvolting it, I'm gonna keep this controller because it's pretty cool. As you can see, it works. It pulls, which is nice. It hasn't got as much power as I thought pulling away. So that's why I might change some of the cogs back there to give it more of a mm, when pulling. But then again, it's only 24 volts. You can't expect miracles. As you can see, You've got the hat, the grips on. Change, I've changed the angle of the uh, brake lever a bit further down. That's pretty much it. I mean, look at it. I'm actually quite pleased with how clean this looks. Um, next plan, like I said, to respray it. Uh, but yeah, the ultimate test really for me is is this as quick? Like, if not, it won't be as quick, but for, for what the price I've spent on parts on the scooter. It's pretty cheap. This is my other electric scooter that I've got. This is carbon fiber. You might have seen these around on the internet. This has got a hub motor, it's ridiculously light and it goes about 17 miles an hour, 18 miles an hour on a full charge. Uh, but look, I mean, if I can make it go just as quick as that, then awesome, but I doubt it because this weighs like next to nothing, whereas this weighs quite a lot. 
But anyway, that's pretty, pretty much part or episode one of this. The next episode, I'll probably be painting it or I might get some battery upgrades. Anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I've been Samish, host of the most. Thank you very much. I know it's different from gaming, but hey, gotta shake things up a bit. Tidy ways, sex people. Mwah.